Hello YouTubers, this is Roxanne, and I want to thank you for joining my Ghost Box session today. Today I am uh, going to do something a little different. I am going to see if I can possibly tap into a, um, an incident that happened a long time ago. Uh, it would be 158 years ago this month. And I am going to try to tap into and speak to people who were involved in or witnesses of uh, action at, at Springfield and the Civil War. Uh, it was also known as the uh, Battle of First Springfield in Missouri. I'm very, very close to Missouri. I'm not sure how far I am exactly from Springfield, but um, Spring, uh, Missouri is not that far from me. But I am going to see if I can possibly talk to some of these soldiers who can give uh, not only give me an insight as to what they went through, but to possibly see if they can tell me anything that would give me evidence that, um, well, that we can uh, speak to people on the other side, that uh, we can, uh, you know, reach those uh, depths to uh, make a connection and learn something from uh, this about the hereafter. Uh, to tell you a little bit more about it, let's see. The it was a, it was a Union victory, but uh, not by a great deal. Well, actually, it kind of was. Uh, let's see. The Union casualties were reported as fifteen killed, twenty-seven wounded, and ten missing or captured. Uh, for Fremont's bodyguard. That was the group involved, and 33 killed in that group, uh, wounded and missing, captured uh, for White's command, for a total of 85. Confederate casualties are unknown, but estimated at 133. Now, I know, you know, you're thinking this is, uh, this is not much compared to something like Gettysburg, but with a small battle such as this, I'm thinking that, you know, maybe I have a better chance of reaching uh, some people and uh, giving them a chance to tell us, you know, from their point of view, what has happened, what happened to them. So let's see what we can get. I'm going to turn on the ghost box, the S-Box ghost scanner. Okay. Gonna put it in reverse. And then I'm gonna say what I'm trying to read. The American Civil War, Battle of First Springfield. I'm trying to reach officers and soldiers, anyone who wants to speak out, anyone who wants to um, let us know what they went through. I want to give you a voice. I know at the time this happened, 158 years ago, you had no chance of uh, reaching out and telling the public anything. I'm sure you're reunited with your uh, loved ones from that time, but I'm going to give you a chance to uh, let us know your side of it. The Missouri State Guard, Major General Sterling Price, do you have anything to say, sir? On the Union side, Major Charles Zaganel, Zagani. Do you have anything to say?
the Missouri State Guard on the Confederate side, Colonel Julian Frazier. Colonel Frazier, can you speak to us? If any soldiers can speak to us, if you would say your name. You can say your full name. Or just your last name. Tell us what state you're from. I'm trying to speak to anyone from the Battle of First Springfield. It took place October 25th, 1861, Green County, Missouri. The American Civil War in Green County, Missouri. Battle of First Springfield. Can anyone talk to me? Major General Sterling Price, if you could speak to us. Are there any soldiers who want to speak to us? Give us your name. What state were you from? What can you remember about this battle? Can any of can anyone talk to us, please? Of the Confederates, 133 casualties. Anyone? Can you speak to us? Tell us what you felt, what you saw. Any Union soldiers, you want to speak? Please speak to us. Tell us your name. Tell us what state you're from. Tell us what happened to you. Confederate soldiers. Confederate soldiers, please speak to us. Tell us your name. Tell us what state you're from. Please tell us what you saw. I'm going to leave this wide open for a while. Give everyone an opportunity. Say something to us. Let us know what you went through. The sacrifices you made were not in vain. All soldiers are welcome to talk to us. You can tell us if you were Confederate. You can tell us if you were Union.
You can speak out to us. We're here to listen to you. You are all very courageous. We want to know how you felt about this. You can get things off your chest. Let your descendants know. Tell us your name. You can say your full name or just your last name. How is your home state? And what state were you born? <laughs> we're here to listen to you. You're very important. What you have to say is very important. Your experiences are important. And force again. You are all human beings in a very bad time in history. It's hard. We know it was hard. We know you were sometimes hungry and cold. You can talk to us. We're all sad for you. Sad what you had to face. You can tell us your thoughts, your feelings. We want to hear you. We want to believe you. Our hearts are with you. Again, this event happened October, October 25th, 1861, in Greene County, Missouri. I'm just going to give another minute or so. So if you want to speak out, please speak out now. Please give your name and your home state. Okay, I'm going to close this down. I want to thank you. I want to thank you all for speaking. Just remember, our hearts are with you. Okay, since that was a very long session, it's really hard to say what all I did get. I know I did get plenty of radio interference, 
That was, uh, <laughs> there wasn't a shortage of that for sure. But I'm going to check this over, see if any of those um, young men spoke through, see if they took the opportunity to, um, you know, reach out to us and uh, let us know their part and their side uh, as, you know, individuals. But um, I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank you for uh, being a part of um, this research. And please subscribe if you haven't already and like the video. And uh, just hit the little bell so you'll be notified of future uh, ghost box sessions. And provided how this first one turns out, I might do more uh, large group sessions and see you know, to give uh, different people from different situations a chance to uh, save, save what's on their mind. But uh, again, thank you, and I hope you each have a wonderful day.